What's up YouTube, Henry Chung Fitness here. We are here to review the Louis Garneau Coarse Air Light XC Carbon Shoes. These are the latest road shoes, top of the line for Louis Garneau. The reason why I decided to jump on a pair of these is because I found a wicked deal on Last Hunt. It's a website that kind of clears out old inventory or discounted inventory and I got really lucky because my former shoes, I believe they were the Louis Garneau LS100. I used to have those and they were my first pair of road specific shoes and I absolutely loved them. But the only issue with those were that they were too tight on my feet. They're too small of a size. So I did suffer a bit and it didn't fit my feet as well as I wanted to. Uh, basically, it's, it's almost as if I was shoving my feet into this really tight pair of high heels and just like squishing my feet at the front. I have fairly wide feet. Because of my wide feet, they didn't really fit into the shoes properly. However, I did like the Louis Garneau shoes. Like everything about them was pretty nice. I did like the stiff carbon sole. I loved how it really hugged my feet, especially at the back. I did look on the Garno website and I checked for the sizing and I chose the EU44 and USA size 10. Normally I'm about a size 9.5 and 10 shoe. However, I did want to get this right because I didn't want to have to order something and return it. So I actually got lucky and I actually found the exact right fit for me. So it says it's about 272 millimeters for the shoe. My feet are very much around two, 270 millimeters, so it's pretty spot on with a pair of cycling socks. It's just the perfect fit for me. They are a Canadian company. You can see here they've got the red maple leaf. Super stiff on the sole, full carbon sole. It's got X comfort zone to stretch out if you have wider feet. It's able to accommodate narrower or regular width or even wider width feet and you know as you can see here the comparison between my Shimano wide RC7s versus the uh, Louis Garneau Coarse Air Light XC's quite a significant difference in terms of the width however as you're riding they are meant to actually stretch out one of the things that I absolutely love about these shoes is the BOA dials, LI2. You can tighten one way and also you can loosen as well micro adjustments, which is really sweet. Or you pull it to uh, do the quick release and absolutely love that. For my Shimano RC7s, oh, so these smell good right now because I've got the ball of air freshener but normally they don't smell so good so that's why I've got them in there however as I was saying the boa on the Shimano RC7s uh, the old one anyways you can only tighten but you can't go the other way it's locked the other way so you can't actually micro adjust to loosen it midway during a ride or or even before so you have to actually fully loosen and do your adjustments and tighten again. I find that the Louis Garneau shoe definitely hugs my feet much better than the Shimano RC7s wide. This does feel more premium, just the construction, the look of it. I love the reflective dots at the back. I believe the logo is also reflective. Just all around, like it feels really high quality. You know, they really put a lot of attention and detail into the design of this shoe. I love the X Comfort technology, how it actually expands to the width of my foot and kind of keeps it really snug in there. I don't feel that it's too tight on my wide feet, so really happy with the way that they've incorporated this new X Comfort technology. I really like the power transfer of the stiff carbon soles. The shoes do come with two sets of insoles. Ice fill means it's for summer because you want the airflow. I'm not sure if you can see the difference, but this one has a lot of 
holes in the back for increased airflow, whereas the hot stuff is for when you're colder. I've worn these in the summer actually and the fall and they do feel pretty good. I didn't think that my feet overheated necessarily, but that might be because I've used them in about 20, 25 Celsius, not necessarily 30 Celsius plus. So that's probably when I'll switch out to these for greater airflow. I do find that these do flow quite a lot of air. It's got some vents at the bottom here, vent at the bottom of the front feet right here. So I never noticed the shoe being overly too hot or overheating. So you've got the mesh panels up here at the front. So during the winter, definitely use my winter shoe covers because the wind is a killer there. Not a big deal for me. It's supposed to storm tonight, tomorrow and over the weekend. So I'm getting as much riding as I can, the first one outdoors, in a long time. And nevertheless, I've got my Louis Garneau Course Air Light Carbon XC shoes on with the booties and my TriFox bike. booties on are the rock pros booty covers and there's the garno shoes these ones don't smell just yet luckily they also come with these little arch supports three different arch supports low mid high you can feel the thickness definitely thicker on the high side medium thickness and the lowest. One issue about the Garno Coarse Air Light XCs is that I find that, you know, it does have this nice grip here. It's kind of like, I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's almost like a felt like material with ridges and it kind of, it's supposed to increase the friction and keep your heel locked in. However, I found that for these specific shoes, it doesn't seem as stiff as I want it to in the heel area. Like it doesn't really grab onto my heel as much. So I would say that's probably one of the only downsides that I can think of for this one. It doesn't, as, as I'm doing the upstroke pedal, I do feel that it's not really, uh, my ankles or heel isn't fully planted. Just some feedback on that part. Absolutely love the look of them. They do feel like a very premium pair of cycling road shoes and especially compared to the Shimano RC7s, they just feel better. That is the Louis Garneau Course Air Light XC Carbon Shoes. These are my go-to shoe now. I've been using them for indoor training. really looking forward to using them out on the road as well. I'll probably be using these for my triathlons. I've got the Muskoka Ironman 70.3 next year as well as a sprint triathlon. I'll try those out. Absolutely love what Louis Gardeau did with these shoes. Love that they're a Canadian company too. I truly hope that they continue coming out with great product like this. These are definitely a needle in the haystack type of find really happy with the price that I paid. Would I pay 500 or 600 for these? No, definitely not because I can't justify paying that much for a cycling shoe. However, 300 bucks, these came out of steel. So all in all, I would give the shoes a solid nine out of 10. The one drawback, it doesn't seem to grip my heel as well as the old Louis Garneau 
LS 100s. Other than that, love the design, the features on it, the bow dials, the two soles that come with it, as well as the different art supports. Love how it looks and the reflective at the back. You know, drivers might be able to see you as you pedal. And overall, these are my go-to road shoe. Looking forward to using them for a really long time. Please like, comment, subscribe. What shoes are you wearing? Have you ever tried Louis Garneau shoes? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, have a good one.